Hello everyone, this is Khalid Shaheen from NCS. We are a training center located here in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Dynamics Business Central training. We offer on-site training and online training as well for corporate and for consultants as well. So this is my email address and my contact information. If you have any questions or if you require any of the training courses, you can give me a call or you can drop me an email. So this picture was taken when I was visiting process uh, last year. Uh, although I went there to, uh, for a business trip, but I ended up visiting the Grand Place and it was great there. I enjoyed the weather there. I enjoyed the cheese sandwich and the business was great there. Uh, so just let you know that today uh, subject will be uh, on uh, answering one question that i got recently from steve in uh, toronto steve is working for a company they upgraded recently from microsoft dynamics gp to microsoft dynamics 365 business central and he is a little bit uh, confused if i may say that uh, they he had a question for me about bank reconciliation. He's accountant in a company that they are, they started recently using Business Central two weeks ago, and he's, he had a question for me about bank reconciliation. So just so that you know that the bank reconciliation is, uh, uh, we train the bank reconciliation as a model in the finance essential course, which is one of the main courses that we have, 81242AE and it's one of the modules that we have in finance essentials so let's jump to the bank reconciliation and i will explain to you the idea of the bank reconciliation the main idea of the bank reconciliation is to compare so you have your bank statement transactions either in paper in front of you and you have also or maybe it is, you know, electronically, electronically, you got it from the bank in electronic format, Excel format, or notepad format. So you have your bank statement transactions in front of you, and you have also your open bank account ledger entries from NAV, or from Business Central, sorry. NAV and Business Central are exactly the same. The NAV is the old version of Business Central, so... Okay, so you want to compare these two together, the bank account statement, the bank statement transactions, and the bank account ledger entries. So in order to do that, you have, once you create bank account reconciliation worksheet, it will pull automatically here on the right side of the screen, the bank account ledger entries. And the step after will be after you pull the bank account ledger entries, uh, is to import your bank statement. This is the second step to import your bank statement. Electronically, you use this function to import your bank statement. But because we don't have bank statement to import, we will run here the suggest lines and I will show you how you can, for example, if you have transaction here that is not exist here, how you can get rid of that transaction. So let me jump here to the application and I was doing this here. So let me delete and repeat the steps again from the beginning. So now I don't have bank account reconciliation. So you open your Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and you go to Cash Management and here you will be able to see the bank account reconciliations. You click on it and you create new record for bank account reconciliation. So I will select the bank that I need, for example, this bank. I'll click OK here. And I will select the statement date. Actually, before I select the statement date, you see that or after, it does not matter. You see that the bank account ledger entries, they will come all automatically, all the open bank account ledger entries, it will come automatically. So the step after will be to import the bank statement here if you have a file to import but we don't have file to import so we will run instead the suggest lines so when you run the suggest lines 
Do you want to include the checks? Yes, I want to include the checks. Do you want to exclude the reversed entries? No, I don't want to exclude anything, for example. And I can leave the starting date blank. I don't have to specify the starting dates. Okay, so let me click OK here and I'll see what will happen. So you see everything that is matching would be in green. Like for example, the first record is matching here. I have the same amount here, the same amount here. So now to steal question, open page, open this page in new window. So Steve was asking if he does not have, okay. So for example, if you have this transaction, you want to, it's exist in the bank statement lines, but it's supposed not to be exist in the bank statement line. So simply you click on, on that transaction and you delete the line and you confirm the message you see here it's not applied anymore in the bank account ledger entries and the last step would be to put the bank or the balance in the last statement from the bank and the statement ending balance uh, once you put the statement ending balance